first hint of sun I've seen three days I've been here. Don't know what that large building is. This seems off the beaten tourist track. Geographically it appears to be. Where I am now is I've come down to here and walked along here, turned right right here, and I'm now walking up along this canal, the right side. And I'll get up here and keep maneuvering this way until I get to the railroad station. This has all the look of a non-tourist neighborhood, all of this area. Real people live here, real time. What these metal braces are for is a metal plate goes in there and attaches and that's to keep the high water out. This is a good example of those braces and the uh, plate that keeps the water out during high water. And there you can get an idea of how high that water is at least recently up to about right here or here. Just has that quiet little neighborhood feel to it. I can imagine living here if I had a place on the water with a boat. Looking back the way I've come at another church. Looking the way I'm going to go, looks like somebody's built a little patio up on top of their house. So this is some evidence that you could be well healed but not healed enough to be on the Grand Canal. I don't know for sure what this building is, but there's a basketball court in it. Go figure. Wooden bridge and maybe a couple further on down. Here a kind of elegant metal bridge and a little bit more decorative entry to the water. There's a mirror for the uh, boat. This looks like a neighborhood. How they get to their boats is interesting to me. I don't see any little dinghies. The signs you always look for are seldom find twofold. One, that street sign on the lower left, you seldom see them everywhere. There's some places, but and then what you're also looking for is those which you'll eventually run across that will direct you where you want to go. The Rio Terra de Iniceri. Rio Terra means a river that's where a canal has been filled in. This one's unusual because it looks like it was built for vehicles. Very large, very wide. Where I think I am is in the little green spot to the lower left of the big green spot with a smaller green spot to its lower right. I'm across that canal and the one to the left is where I think I am. And if I lift my camera up this park right over here is Parque Papado something other. Again, consider that a park is a pretty novel thing to have, I think, on these islands where land is so valuable. I got lost over where I am now last night coming back, but over there where those trees are on the other side, you can see them right in there, that's where the railroad station is. So. <clears throat> What I'll do is, and then I continue on to the right of that, what I'll do is go back here and cross over this new bridge and then take the, the walkway to the right there. And there is apparently their uh, community auditorium. This is their blackbird with a brilliant yellow orange beak. Or at least one of them has that kind of a beak. Starting down the canal on Saturday. The wooden, these wooden boats are absolutely beautiful. Whether they're new or not, I don't know.
fish market and next to it is the produce market. balance of this section just contained in the old days the really big important castles or palaces rather. There's another one of those really quaint narrow little palaces. This one's interesting for the light arch look. I like the little side balcony that gave them a view up to the Rialto. There are four pretty, I think there are four, I'm assuming that this little one is, uh, is a fourth one but it may just be an addition to one of the uh, either of those other two. St. Thomas Vaporetta stop. And that may be the Academia where I'm going to get off. May not be. just before we get to the Academia, which is also on this right side. And this is the Palazzo Freschetti that I visited yesterday. I don't eat much anymore. This is, um, Spaghetti. This is spaghetti al pasta. And something else I forget. And then some uh, Pellegrino spring water. Which I like that. 
It's interesting that the metal supports, theoretically, that should tie the vertical struts into those cross beams don't even touch. This one's incomplete. Like it's just meant to be a protection in case it falls. That one's barely close to touching, but not. That one down there may be touching. <laughs>